Namaskars to you all, to all the eminent personalities, dignitaries. About Professor G. D. Agarwalji's fight to let the Ganga flow freely, to cut the pollutions into Ganga. All this, when he started fighting, I used to hear about it. But when he started fasting, I thought government would respond because the current government approach is uh, to safeguard Ganga. But somehow, when G.D. Agarwalji started the fasting, I thought government would respond and it would save him from the self-sacrifice. But sadly, government hasn't looked into it, hadn't looked into it. And the day he, le he left this earth, it really put me in a deep pain. It saddened me deeply, immensely. And I thought anti-country would revolt on it. Especially around this area at least. At least in Uttar Pradesh. But realize there's not much of a, some kind of reactions from, apart from the few intellectuals, few dignitaries. But something we felt, as Professor so Sony rightly said, Professor G.D. Agarwal's sacrifice made us to realize India is losing its soul. Such a man who had given his life not to amass riches, just to protect the nature which, pro which will protect us. And no one has there is not enough reactions from the entire Indian society. That's what I felt from where, somewhere. Though my, I come from Dakshan Bharat. Ganga is not about Uttar Bharat. It's not about Uttar Bharat or Paschim or Pur. It is Sari Bharat ki baat hai. Sari Bharat ki baat hai. And I felt as a citizen of this country, citizen of our nation, of Bharat, this is my fundamental responsibility to safeguard Ganga, to stand by the eminent, such a saint, such Mahatma, who had given up his life for Ganga. I thought it is my fundamental responsibility whether I might do, go one, edge, one, one inch forward in politics, whether I might go or not. But my intention, my support is for, to make sure Professor G.D. Agarwal's sacrifice, the purpose, the intention for what he started, we will make sure under the guidance, under the leadership of uh, Rajan Singh Ji, for all the eminent uh, dignitaries and 
personalities here with all, with all your advice and guidance we will make sure we'll take this fight forward and we'll just outside the media asked me how are you going to fight with government we are not here to fight with government we want we are here to make government listen to us and what because the uh, soul becomes powerful when it leaves the body and professor gd agarwal the moment he left his body has become so powerful even somewhere deep down somewhere in hyderabad though i felt the pain but his power his shakti awakened me to come here and do my bit part for the entire to carry his message to the entire nation from my side that is the power of his atma and we will make sure it will never go west because india is such a country india is filled with mahatmas sant lok and you can never take away no matter how many politics how many politi how much politics or how many politicians you try to destroy this the cultural ethos of this country it can never be destroyed because of sants like gd agarwal ji because they are the ones who take this india forward bharat forward because of this like i want to one, one of the german philosophers schopenhauer said a lot of european individuals who want to come and transform india to bring their particular faith into the country and he said india cannot be changed in turn it will transform you that is the power of bharat that is the power of india why it's because of mahatmas like this who are selfless who doesn't want anything from this world they want to give it a man of a highest caliber who was a professor in i an iitian who studied in uh, berkeley in 60s who taught in berkeley's and that man left everything and came he want to pursue the enlightenment path yet as patil ji rightly said sant bhi hai sangarshan bhi kar sakta hai he can do a fight also mere sant is somewhere okay he can do he can seek the enlightenment of self but the beauty of gd agarwal ji is he'll fight against what is his will to safeguard nature and we will make sure his path will be continued and whatever best as the citizen of this country we will make sure his vision will be taken forward with all your help though i am just a single individual but my bit part i'll do and you guide us people like me and the next generation is readily to get awakened provided if we give them the right path to follow i think with all your expertise and experience you guide us properly and we will do our bit part and we will take it forward to the future generations and we will fulfill the aspirations and for which he had left this abode we'll take it forward jai hind entandi video nachinda aithe o like veskondi ledante o comment cheyandi eppadikappudu maa videos chudalante subscribe cheskondi